Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Ahmed Rida Sekat. I come from an uh, university in Paris, and uh, I work on the GPAC team. Uh, for those who don't know GPAC, I will do a, a quick presentation, then and uh, I will talk about uh, the key tools in GPAC and the uh, uh, latest news. And then I will talk about the delivery of uh, VR360 videos mm. using tiles, and I will show you some demos there at the end. So what is GPAC? Uh, GPAC is an open source uh, multimedia framework. It's uh, under the LGPL license, hosted on GitHub, and uh, can be used in all uh, desktops, mobiles, iOS, uh, Android, and uh, embedded Linux. Uh, so what do we have in GPAC? But basically, two sets of tools. One tool uh, which uh, you may know, MP4 Box. Uh, uh, which is, uh, we, which uh, we are happy to call it a worldwide uh, reference uh, for uh, MP4 files manipulation. It does uh, uh, MPEG, -dash, uh, uh, MPEG dash generation for uh, MP4 files, but not only. Uh, we can do uh, an encryption of your files. Uh, you can uh, concatenate files, uh, so you can do uh, segmentation. Uh, we can also add streams, remove streams, add items, remove items, and things like that. We have also a player, which is a bit more than a simple audio video player. It's uh, a halfway between a player and a browser. Uh, we have support uh, for 3D, 2D graphics. We can use uh, uh, any protocol uh, that you want, including HTTP. You can um, use uh, almost any codec. We, we use FMPEG. Uh, we have support for open HEVC and uh, scalable extension. And uh, I forgot the, to say that GPAC is a uh, uh, research-oriented uh, project. Here we have some uh, some latest news. So now we have a public test uh, infrastructure. We have support for uh, range extensions uh, for EVC and HEVC. We've improved the TTML uh, support. We have now the support for hardware decoding in uh, OS X, iOS, and Android. And we work uh, uh, into uh, a branch to uh, support uh, more PIFF uh, and smooth streaming files, file format, and uh, hardware acceleration in uh, encryption. We have also a lot of uh, interesting projects, which uh, you can uh, check in our GitHub. I will talk to you now about the delivery of uh, VR360 uh, uh, content using tiles. So as you may know, to uh, play a 360 video, it uh, requires at least uh, 4K. But uh, some claim uh, uh, tw tw 20K for achieve 4K field of view resolution, like we see in the, in the illustration. And uh, to uh, achieve this, we have the necessity to reduce the bandwidth. We can uh, do this by act by acting uh, on the compression, compression uh, into uh, can do a compression of a 2D video after some projection or uh, some uh, shuffling and packing. Or also we can act in the delivery part. We can deliver a part of the video base, based on the on a viewport uh, and uh, put a lower quality outside the, outside the viewport. But uh, here we have the necessity to react. Uh, uh, quickly to motion. Here we have some examples of uh, projections. We have the simple one, uh, equirectangular projection, and uh, equirectangular projection with the specific packing. We just uh, take the top and the bottom of the video where we don't need uh, a lot of precision and put it on the top. We can do also a cube map projection with, uh, with packing. So we think uh, videos will uh, probably 
uh, BE pack that compressed based on a rectangular region. And uh, here's the test uh, for, uh, for tiling. So the principle of uh, tiling is uh, quite simple. We, we just cut the video into different parts. Uh, and uh, we have the possibility to, de to play, uh, uh, the possibility to have different quality in uh, each part. We can also have the possibility to uh, play uh, just uh, some tiles or just only one. <coughs> So uh, in MPEG dash we have a notion called SRD, which is uh, which represents the 3D relationship between videos. It's uh, in the source content. It's codec agnostic. There is no assumption of uh, tile encoding tools and can be used with uh, multiple independent videos. It's already be used for project projected videos, but uh, there is some discussion to extend it to 3D uh, relationship. In our player MP4 client, we have support for uh, for uh, uh, two uh, different adaptation. Here we can see uh, using the our uh, GUI, we can see uh, here different uh, tiles. Uh, in this adaptation, we have uh, actually uh, for for this example, we have actually uh, nine videos, nine separate videos. So which means nine uh, uh, decoders, as uh, we can see here, uh, different buffers. And we have also an uh, other adaptation, which is called HVC motion constrained tile-based adaptation. In this adaptation, we have just one video, uh, so uh, one uh, decoder. And here we can see different uh, tiles, nine tiles, with the uh, different SRD and qualities also. So for this uh, for this uh, second adaptation, after tiling, we encode the the video using a motion constrained HVC encoder, and after encapsulation, we have uh, the tile tracks and the tile based track. After that, we, gener we can generate an MPD using an MPD generator to have uh, the MPD file and uh, the MP4 tile segments. Then you can play it uh, with, uh, with our player, for example, using HTTP requests. You can choose uh, any tile that you want to, to play, as I said before, or just one tile. Uh, using this link, you can have the whole description of, uh, of this adaptation and how to encode, how to create files, how to play files, etc. So uh, as uh, we don't have now a standard to choose which uh, quality, which, which tile to favor, uh, we have uh, some streaming strategies, configuration streaming strategies that you can configure in our uh, player MP4 client. We have a lot of uh, strategies. Here we have four, uniform priority, row-based priority, center-based priority, or column-based priority. Uh, so uh, as I said, we don't have a, a standard, but uh, it can be, con it can be uh, used with uh, a, a guest tracker or a head tracker, for example. Then after this, I will show you a demonstration where uh, we do uh, an adaptation uh, in function of the, of the viewport. So we will have the highest quality on the tile visible, the visible tile. And after that, I will show you a demonstration using a uh, demonstration of the uh, implementation of uh, MP. Uh, of uh, hardware dec de decoding using media codec, uh, media codec in uh, Android. So here in, uh, in uh, MPCAT client, uh, we have this beautiful uh, tool. We can uh, check uh, which uh, 
decoder is used, we have the possibility to to change uh, the bandwidth. Uh, we have also uh, we can see uh, the qualities, different qualities, and now here uh, we have the adaptation. As you you can see, the quality will change. We it's not uh, very visible, but the quality change in function of the of the viewport. <coughs> Here we have a demonstration. Uh, actually, we we render just the tile uh, which should be visible, and uh, we can see also uh, the adaptation of uh, the quality in function of the viewport. Hey, it was very very visible. So we don't render. We don't render the other tiles, and here we have the demonstration of uh, the media codec, the the difference between the media codec hardware and the software decoder. We use uh, SSMPEG. Uh, we can see here that the the FPS does not exceed 16 uh, frames per second. Uh, we have a lot of drops, and uh, one uh, frame can be uh, decoded uh, in uh, more than 100 milliseconds. But on the other hand, we have the media codec, uh, which can decode one frame in uh, uh, 20 milliseconds and uh, have a constant FPS equal to 25 with no drops. We can see also the the cut in the this video, and it's quite uh, smooth in the other uh, one. <coughs> uh, I forgot uh, to say that it uh, is an uh, uh, it's an uh, 4K uh, video resolution. Uh, thank you, and uh, I will be happy to answer if you have uh, any question. So we have time for quite a few questions, so don't hesitate. So do you think it's going to be it's going to become a part of the Dash standard anytime soon, like this uh, small description piece for the stains? Some I didn't actually ask, understand the. So, so, so this is, is not a part of the dash standard yet. W which part? Uh, like this. Uh, tiles? Yeah, the tiles part. Do you see it becoming a part of the dash standard somehow? I think it's uh, already in the in standard. Yeah, there's a tile. HVC tile in, in HVC. Is, uh, and the. Okay. Thanks. I think. <laughs> Uh, your question is, uh, uh, if uh, we check the statistics using the cube map uh, projection? No, the pyramid for map projection. Uh, no, we, did, we did not have it. We don't have it. Uh, Uh, when, when? When constraining the motion, like when, when you were, uh, you said you would um, constrain motion estimation? So someone on your presentation, you said that you were using uh, motion constraint HEVC and coding. Yes, yes. So the question is, did you measure any efficiency improvement while, while constraining the motion vectors? Did you see any improvement? Uh, yes. The, actually, there is a, there is a, the question is uh, is if uh, we did some uh, some uh, statistic uh, to sh to see if uh, we have any improvement uh, using tile uh, using tile in uh, encoding videos using tile using the constant tile constant motion tile. This is yes, we did this, but uh, 
uh, there is no a lot uh, a lot of difference. You you but you just uh, need to use uh, uh, twenty five tiles and it is quite good. Yes. How much bandwidth can you save uh, to get a similar forte rendering? To the similar? Yeah. By removing uh, many tiles on the better compression, how much uh, do you gain? Uh, we we I don't know, but we how much we gain if we under just one tile or just? No, with you with all your techniques, how much do you save compared to the initial? Uh, uh, I don't know, but uh, uh, we, we will gain, actually, surely we will gain uh, some, uh, some bandwidth. So, uh, uh, so is the point of tiling the picture, it's, it's not really to benefit in uh, compression efficiency, it's more to optimize the, the viewpoint according to the bandwidth you have, right? Yes, so you're yes. you're not always seeing the full 4K picture. Yes, we don't. You're just, you're just seeing a plot of the picture. So instead of encoding the full picture, you just encode a part, and then you you, uh, you use actually the bandwidth you save on the other tiles to improve the quality of the view you are seeing currently. So the, the tiling is not necessarily to uh, you know improve the overall quality of the 4K picture, but it's just to optimize the quality that the you are seeing with, yes. when you are actually exactly. seeing the 360 video. So you're seeing one tile at a time, not all the tiles at the same time. Yes, but in the encoding we have, uh, we encode all, uh, all the tiles with all the uh, qualities. It's just when we play the different tiles when we, uh, when we do the adaptation. Yep. Does, um, does any P4 box uh, plays on the uh, 5 or Cubus or something? Uh, if we support... Uh, Yes. The question is uh, if we support using MP4 client, if we support the yeah. all the the devices. The devices. Uh, we can actually in uh, in Android we have the multi-view uh, support HVC. Uh, yes, and we can use it with the uh, with the uh, Google uh, okay. Cardboard. Yes, we have. We can uh, we can play. Actually, we can play all. Uh, the, we support uh, HVC multi-view. Then you can <coughs> use to, to play a, a multi-view uh, file used use side by side, for example, or uh, you play it uh, in a uh, uh, 3D screen. We tested it with uh, uh, five, uh, five views, a five, uh, f uh, MP4 file with five views, and we can see we, we support it, actually. Yes. Uh, the question was, what is the difference between uh, w between the first adaptation and the second adaptation? Ad adapt the video, uh, uh, play a video, uh, use use tile with uh, a lot of videos, separate videos, and using it with uh, just one video. That's the question. Yes. So you need to make a choice to reserve some bandwidth or to have some less buffering. So what is your current algorithm from this? Uh, <coughs> well, the current algorithm, it is, uh, the question is uh, which, which uh, the algorithm, adaptation algorithm we use uh, for this, uh, for this uh, using tiles. So uh, here we, ca we check just uh, 
to uh, check just uh, which tile is visible. And we have a configuration, as I said, uh, to choose which quality to use. But uh, we will uh, uh, soon uh, uh, support a BOLA uh, algorithm for uh, adapting videos. I think. As, as I said before, yes, okay. we support. The question is if we support multi-view uh, vi videos, yes. multi-view uh, files. Yes. yes, we support it. Okay. We can play so it. Have two we have two streams in one file. Yes, we have two streams in one file, and we can play it, uh, as I said, side by side, or, or choose uh, which, uh, which view you can. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you.